This episode of Legal Eagle was made possible by Skillshare. Learn to think like a lawyer for free for two months by clicking the link in the description. Last week, Kim Kardashian announced her intention to take the California bar exam without going to law school. Like all things Kardashian, this made huge headlines. Is this simply a new plot for the reality show? Or is Kim Kardashian expanding her home video and makeup empire to include a law practice? Discover the truth in this week's Real Law Review. Kim Kardashian made news last week by announcing her intention to take the California bar exam without graduating from law school. This process is called reading the law, and it actually used to be the dominant way that Americans became lawyers. Like most lawyers, Kim made her announcement with a splashy article and a photo spread in Vogue. The Vogue article describes Kim's house as having a master bedroom the size of, quote, an airplane hanger, a pile of books on tort law, a bathroom big enough for a basketball team, and of course, Kanye West. I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. I am Shakespeare in the flesh, Walt Disney. Hashtag relatable. But on a more serious note, Kim explains that she decided to become a lawyer after helping secure the release of Alice Marie Johnson, a prisoner who spent a decade in prison for being a non-violent drug offender. Although Kim was mostly an intermediary bringing up the case with Kanye's friend Donald Trump, the experience made her feel out of her depth. She stated, quote, that I want to be able to fight for people who have paid their dues to society. I just felt like the system could be so different and I wanted to fight to fix it. And if I knew more, then I could do more. Admirably, Kim has continued to be involved in prison reform efforts. So apparently she started the process of becoming a lawyer last summer with an apprenticeship with a California law firm. Her goal apparently is to take the California bar in 2020. Of course, Kim is also the daughter of a famous lawyer, Robert Kardashian, who is probably best known as being OJ Simpson's friend and attorney during the 1995 murder trial. Mr. Kardashian passed away in 2003 of esophageal cancer. Now, like all things Kardashian, Kim's announcement was of course met with a cycle of praise and backlash. Her personal lawyer, Marty Singh, who I've actually worked with on a few occasions at the firm of Lavely and Singer said that, quote, I believe that she will be a terrific lawyer and will be an asset to any firm that hires her, including our own. That's probably true. You can imagine that hiring a billionaire reality TV star would probably be a boon to any law firm that she decided to work with. Now, of course, detractors rolled their eyes at Kim's depiction of her studies, especially the comment where she said, quote, took my first test, got a 100, super easy for me. The reading is what really gets me. It's so time consuming, the concepts I grasp in two seconds. But I think for the time being, at least, she deserves the benefit of the doubt. It is difficult to do the process of reading for the law and passing the California bar exam. The California bar exam, which is notoriously the hardest bar exam in the entire country. But let's talk a little bit about this process. Law school is usually three years long and involves grueling years of studying, writing, taking exams, and learning to think and argue like a lawyer. And of course, after attaining your law degree, the recent law graduate has to take a state bar exam. Once that person passes the exam, they are good to go, at least in terms of being able to practice in that one particular state. Every state has its own bar exam, so passing one test doesn't really give you the right to practice in another state. And if you pass the bar in California, no other state lets you just wave in because California doesn't let any other lawyers wave in to the state of California. But it hasn't always been that way. In colonial America, people were suspicious of lawyers, even though the 28 of the signers of the Declaration of Independence actually had legal training. That's because back in England, the profession was only open to elites. And of course, Americans were revolting against a society with a very strong class system. Eventually, Americans realized that they needed lawyers and they decided to make the training markedly different than what their forefathers had practiced. The first American trained lawyers on US soil had to complete a seven year clerkship with a lawyer or a judge. New York, uh, not surprisingly, led the way here, insisting on the completion of a four year degree followed by a five year clerkship. This model for legal training wasn't all that different from apprenticing in masonry, millwright, or plumbing. The training was overseen by a mentor lawyer who would make sure that the potential law graduate absorbed all the knowledge necessary for the profession. Of course, there were some problems with this model as it applied to lawyers. Apprenticeship training was all practical, so 
so students did not receive much theoretical knowledge. Today, some would argue that you get way too much theoretical knowledge at law school and not enough practical knowledge. The practice of law, of course, requires both. It requires intellectual rigor, oral skills, writing skills, research skills. This can be hard to pick up in a fast-paced legal environment, and in fact, many apprentices found themselves overworked and stuck doing menial tasks rather than actually studying the law itself. Over the years, a formal system of legal education started to develop, with law schools opening and eventually every state starting its own bar. However, in most states, people could still become lawyers without actually attending law school. Some of America's most famous lawyers did exactly that. For example, Abe Lincoln grew up on the frontier and couldn't afford law school. He did just fine. In fact, Lincoln didn't even apprentice with anyone. He just read some books and passed the test and started a law firm and ended up as one of the most revered American presidents of all time. The process of reading the law, which Kim Kardashian, blah, 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 blah. The process of reading the law, which Kim Kardashian is actually going through, also worked for Clarence Darrow, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Daniel Webster, and Chief Judge of the Supreme Court, John Marshall. In the late 19th century, fewer than 20% of lawyers actually went to law school, which is where the American Bar Association enters the picture. In 1878, a group of lawyers started the American Bar Association to promote for greater uniformity in the legal profession. The ABA wanted to restrict entrance into the profession and spent years lobbying states to restrict the practice of law to only people who actually went to law school. And they were pretty successful. Although most states now require a person to graduate from law school to be eligible to take the bar exam, a few outlier states still allow non-graduates to take the test. Today, only California, Virginia, Washington, and Vermont will allow you to take the bar exam without actually going to law school. Meanwhile, New York, Wyoming, and New Jersey let students take the bar exam if they complete some sort of mini version of law school. For people living in those states, taking the bar exam through a combination of apprenticeship and schooling could make sense. As I covered in another video, the cost, debt, and time involved can make law school a difficult proposition for many people. But let's go back to Kim Kardashian. What does she have to do to be able to take and pass the California bar exam? Well, she's going to need to spend 18 hours a week for four years with a lawyer or a judge to get the go-ahead to sit for the California bar exam. She's also going to need to take what we usually refer to as the baby bar exam later this summer. The baby bar is a threshold test for people who want to go to an unaccredited law school or intend to read the law without actually going to law school. It's a gatekeeper to make sure that you're not going to sit for the main bar exam if you can't at least pass a, a smaller version uh, of it ahead of time. Kim's supervising lawyer must devote at least five hours a week to direct supervision and must administer tests to demonstrate that she is actually learning something. Kim, would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. Kim has already been reading law books, working at a law office, and taking tests. So I would say this is not exactly a publicity stunt, at least for the time being. She will have to work in three more years of weekly legal work and study to get her shot at the California bar exam in 2020. If she passes, she will join a very rare club. In 2014, 84,000 people took a bar exam, but just 60 were apprentices. And of those 60 people, only 17 actually passed the bar exam. Now, if you want to read for the law like Kim Kardashian, you'll need a productivity system to manage your time and learn to study efficiently. I highly recommend my friend Thomas Frank's Skillshare Productivity Masterclass, How to Create a Custom System That Works. Even if you're not trying to pivot from being a Kardashian to a lawyer, it'll help you transform your personal and professional life by creating a simple, customized productivity system. Oh, it's on. Or if you already are a lawyer and want to pivot to being a Kardashian-style reality star, you can learn all the beauty tips that Thomas Frank uses in Chelsea Baker's Skillshare class on applying makeup using professional techniques. Skillshare is an online learning community that has over 20,000 classes on everything, like lifestyle, design, and technology. The first five 500 Legal Eagles will get two free months of Skillshare when you click on the link below. The free premium membership gives you unlimited access to must-know topics so you can improve your skills and learn new things. So click on the link, get two free months, and start learning to think like a lawyer today. It could even help you become a reality star lawyer. Oh my gosh, Alice, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Kim will stick with it? Uh, do you think that people should be able to practice the law without going to law school? Leave your objections in the comments and check out my other real law reviews over here where I will see you in court.